Hello, I'm Heidi Gastel. I'm a biopharma specialist at Waters. And today I want to show you our complete automated workflow for released end glycan analysis. Now this workflow includes everything from the consumables, the sample handling robots with automated protocols, um, through to the LCMS analysis on the BioCord um, with automated uh, processing and reporting. So the systems are designed for ease of use um, and they can be used by people who are not specialists, so you don't have to be an expert in mass spectrometry or automation, and nor do you need to have run the released end glycan analysis before. Um, and I'm going to go through it with you step by step, so let's have a look. Okay, so let's start with the sample preparation. So we're going to be using the Andrew Plus robot and I've got the pipettes and dominoes from the Andrew Plus starter kit and the Glycoworks kits. So that's on the hardware side. And um, for the actual samples, I'm gonna be running the eight sample protocol. And I've bought the consumables for that, which have enough for three times uh, eight samples. Um, but if you'd like to run more in one go, we've got kits for 24 and 48 samples at a time. Now, the Andrew Alliance robot is uh, run by the OneLab software, um, which is a cloud-based software, um, which, meaning that you can access it from anywhere, so on an iPad, on your computer, or on your phone. So the software is really intuitive, and you can build your own protocols for your own experiments, um, which you can then share with colleagues, and um, you'll also have features that are useful for compliance, like version control and Different people can have different levels of access depending on whether or not um, they are allowed to change methods. Um, but the other thing that you can do is you can also download ready-made protocols from the library, which is what we're going to do um, today. So there is a Glycoworks um, protocol within the library. Uh, here we are. So we could, if we click here, you get some more information on the protocol. Um, with some background on how the assay works um, and information about what the procedure actually involves. Um, and lower down, you'll see we've also got some considerations um, that you will want to follow to make sure that your assay um, is successful. So we want a protein concentration of about 1.5 mg per mil um, for each sample. Um, and also some considerations around the formulation of your, of your buffer, depending on what, what the sample contains. So they're useful to read. And then lower down, we've also got some ordering information, um, depending on if you want to use the protocol for eight samples or, or for more. Um, so that can be very helpful. So um, now we want to go here and we want to copy to one lab. So that will now be within your um, home space. So if I go, um, to our home space, here we are. Um, you can see I've downloaded it. Okay, so there are two protocols that are useful to us on this page. Um, the first of them is actually reagent preparation. So you just need to find the one for the number of samples you want to run. And if you click execute, this will take you through um, setting up the reagents um, ready to put on the robot. And this could be particularly useful if you're working in a compliant environment um, because you have a record of that uh, procedure. Um, but it's useful for all of us just because it, it gives a step-by-step -step guide on how to get ready. Um, so you might want to do that step in the fume hood because um, some of the reagents do contain DMS. Coming back to the protocols page, you can see we also have some protocols for the sample preparation. So this is what the Andrew Plus is going to run on the robot. Um, so if we go through um, to the eight uh, samples, I'm going to click Execute. Um, and one lab is now calculating how long it will take for me to do this manually or with the Andrew Plus robot. Um, so I could do it manually, 
uh, in two hours, but I'd like to run it with the Andrew Plus and halve my, uh, my preparation time. Um, so it, if I click through, it'll then tell me which devices I need um, and which tools, as well as the solutions that I need um, to run the experiment. That's very helpful. And then if I, if I click through, it will also tell me where it wants me to put those different dominoes. Um, so for example, in one, I want to put the tip insertion system and I can go through each of the blocks and make sure that I'm putting in um, the labware that is needed um, along with the solutions in the right wells. And it also asks me to confirm that the labware volume has been checked just to um, confirm that we have actually got reagents where we think we have, um, which I have done. Okay, so now we hit start experiment. Okay, the Andrew Alliance is now going to do some check to identify where the dominoes are um, and also to check that the vacuum pressure is right. And so at this step, it's asking me to check that the vacuum is right on the manifold and I'm happy with that. So I can uh, click continue and go through to the next step. Okay, and now you can see that the Andrew Alliance um, is going through each of the steps. Um, it, you can see that it's 1% through and that my um, action will be required at this time. So now the Andrew Alliance is gonna go through uh, each step of the protocol, which involves um, three steps. So it's deglycosylation um, or, or release of the glycans, labeling, and then SP cleanup. And that will take just under an hour in total. Um, right, so now our samples are ready, it's time to run them for the LCMS analysis. So we're going to do that on the BioCord, um, which is an LCMS system that is specifically designed for ease of use and robustness, which makes it perfect for people who aren't MS experts, um, or who are MS experts but want to put their routine analysis um, on a really reliable uh, system that has lots of time-saving features and automated processing and reporting steps um, to save you time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the plate inside. So the column that we're using on the LC is the Acuity Premier Glycan column, which is particularly helpful um, for any silated glycans if you're seeing loss of uh, silated glycans, but it will capture all the others as well. Um, and then here we've got the mass spectrometer. So this is the RDA mass spectrometer, um, designed again with lots of ease of use features. If you'd like to know more about those ease of use features, then please check out some of our other videos. That's the hardware. Let's have a look at the software, which is the Waters Connect software. You can see that we've got lots of different apps for um, different purposes. Today we're going to use Unify. Um, and if we come to the Unify app, we're going to create an analysis. Um, and as I said, all of these workflows are already ready made for you, um, so we can provide them for you or you can download them from our marketplace. Uh, we're going to create an analysis by acquiring new data um, and we're going to use um, our default um, method. And you can either just click next for this um, or you can um, put in a calibration and another analysis for calibration so I'm going to choose one that I've used before and I've actually downloaded this particular one from Waters Marketplace. Okay I'm going to enter the analysis details so I'm going to call this Lycan like, um, video 
go. And then we're ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is set up our sample list. And the first sample that we are using is actually a Dextran ladder. Um, and it's a standard um, and that enables your software to calculate a GU value for your glycans as they are looped from the column. So you're not only depending on retention time, which can be somewhat instrument dependent. Um, so I'm going to set that up and I'm going to add a few of those to the sample list. Okay, next I'm going to add in my sample and this is now an unknown. And for each of the samples, I can actually use the plate on the left-hand side to say where they are. So I'm going to add in my samples now. So along the way, I want to add in more of the standard um, every so often, um, which again just adds extra um, accuracy and precision to your um, analyses. Okay, so once my sample analysis is ready, I want to have a quick look at my instrument um, just to check that everything is green and ready to go. Um, and we can see that it is. So I'm going to hit start. Okay, so our samples are now um, going to run. And before that, the BioCode will actually check itself um, to check that the calibration is still valid. Um, and then it will start running the samples. Great, so we've set our samples running now. Um, and I've got quite a long sample list. So I'm going to come back to this tomorrow to look at my process results. So our analysis um, has run and processed. Now we can look at the results. So if we come into Unify again, we can go to the Review tab. Um, and we've got different ways that we can view our data. Um, the first um, way we're going to look at is, is looking at the, our Dextran ladders, so our, our standards. We just want to check that um, the, the first 12 um, glucose units of the, the dextran ladder have been assigned because I, I was only searching for 12 um, but you could change your method to search for more um, and that all looks very good here I can see the calibration curve on the right which I'm happy with so you might want to zoom in on a particular point um, and click here and you can see that's dextran 1 and so then you've got the option to ignore those points if you'd like so you can come in here and click ignore on those particular points um, but I'm quite happy um, with how that looks. Uh, so I'm going to come down now to look at my samples. And you can see for the sample, we can see the chromatogram on the bottom left hand side. And all the peaks are in blue, which means that they've been identified. And we, here you can see we've got the G0F, G1F, um, the different isoforms of the G1F, and the G2F, um, etc. And then um, silated forms, which are nicely retained. Um, thank you, thanks to our Premier Colour. Um, and if you click on one of those, um, you can see that we've got um, more information on the panel on the right hand side. For every peak, we've got the possible um, assignments um, based on the retention time, which has been calibrated to GU, and then the GU has been um, used to look within our um, glycan library to identify those glycans. Um, and then based on that GU value, um, the software has proposed the possible glycans and it's then used the mass from the BioCord LCMS data um, to actually confirm, oh yes, it's this top one. Uh, so a nice example of the use of LC and MS for glycan identification. Um, okay, finally, there are different ways that you can interact with your data. Um, and you can save these views based on um, what you find most useful for your particular environment. Um, so you can compare across samples, um, the percentage of each glycans, 
um, and, and view your data in tables and in graphs. So this is a nice way of viewing your data. Of course, you might want to communicate your data with your colleagues or your customers. Um, so a great way to do that is with the report. And you can see that Unify has already generated a report automatically for me based on a template that I have specified. Now that template is fully customizable, so you can change this report um, to suit your needs and, and the customer or the colleague who, who is going to read it. Like the Android Alliance system, the BioAccord is also compliant ready. So it has lots of compliance features like audit trails and user access roles that can be really helpful in the lab. Um, not only if you're in a compliant environment, but also if you're not. So that was an overview of our automated workflow for release and glycan analysis. Um, it has everything you need from sample preparation, LCMS analysis, and then automated processing and reporting. And it really takes advantage of the power of mass spectrometry to identify the glycans that are on your therapeutic in combination uh, with the LC and especially our Acuity Premier Glycan column. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please do have a look at our other videos if you'd like more information or indeed, please reach out and contact us.